Hello over there at Create Construction and Signs. Uh, my name is Calvin Burkhardt with Mr. and Mrs. Leeds out in Colorado Springs. Uh, we are a marketing agency and I wanted to shoot you this quick video to give you guys three tips on how you guys can beat out your competition online. Show you some things that I can see that's working for you, some things that's working for your competition. And uh, if you like what you hear by the end of the video, you can take the tips and uh, use them for yourself to help your online presence. Or if you can tell that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that can help you grow your business, uh, please reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I'd like to get into the three tips that are going to help you beat out your competition online. So uh, the first tip is going to be content. Uh, so the content on your website, uh, you just want to make sure that you have enough content to be able to explain uh, what it is that you guys do, the services that you offer. Um, I see that you guys have pictures. It's very obvious what you do. Um, but Google robots can't always read the pictures. And so it's good to have actual words of content on your, on your page that help explain what it is that you do. So that way anybody searching for uh, signs or sign companies or anything like that in the search engine can uh, hopefully come across your website if you have the, the unique content and you got the keywords in there. Um, and that way you guys can get found for your services and not just your business name. And so that, that'll help bring on uh, new, new customers. So uh, that's the first thing I want to go over is just content. You need to have more content on your, on your website to be able to explain what it is that you do so the search engines can understand that. Um, also, uh, the, the second thing that I wanted to go over with you today is uh, citations. So what a citation is, if I go to a search here, so typically when you do a search, so I did like a custom sign shop near me out in Denver, and the first thing that you're going to see is ads. So these are people that are paying to be on the top of the search engine. I'm sure you're already familiar with that. Uh, but these don't always work uh, because there's a lot of people out there that simply do not click on ads. Maybe they had a bad ad experience in the past. Um, also, people nowadays have uh, ad blockers on their web browsers, and so a lot of times uh, anyone who has an ad blocker is not even going to see these ads. So uh, this is kind of a gamble to, to work with ads. Uh, so what citation is, is it's essentially your business's name, address, and phone number listed through throughout the web, through different directories. And so that's going to help you in this section right here, this map section, uh, which a lot of businesses nowadays are getting traffic from, calls, and, and uh, you know, that, that sort of thing. So the way that this works is, like I, like I mentioned, you just want to make sure that all your business information is correct and accurate and uh, the same across all the directories. And what a directory is, is you could think of a directory as a place where businesses can, can list themselves, uh, such as um, Yellow Pages or YP or Facebook or Yelp or any of those uh, online businesses out there where they're allowing businesses to put their business information on there to hopefully drive some more traffic through another channel. And so that's the second thing that I want to go over with you is citations. I just, uh, in order to beat out your competition online, you just, you want to make sure that you're doing at least what your competition is doing, and then you want to do a little bit more. And so having your business listed in more directories or at least the same directories that are um, helping the, the local businesses in your area that do the same thing uh, is going to help excel your business as well. So it's going to help you get ranked up in this map section. So. Um, also, uh, the third thing that I want to go over with you is backlinks. And so that'll have to do with this uh, organic section down here. It also has to do with your content. Uh, like I mentioned before, content is uh, very important uh, for getting found in the search engines. And so sometimes uh, people mention content's king, uh, and to, to an extent that is true. So having the right unique content with keywords on your website helps, and then also having backlinks. So what a backlink is, is it's another website that's referring business to your website. So for example, let's say there's a, um, you know, another sign shop out of New Mexico and they say, Hey, uh, I trust this sign shop over here, uh, in Denver because I've worked with them before. And then they send a link back to your page. So anybody that ends up on their page, but they're looking for services in Denver can find you. So that's in a nutshell how that works. So what I can see, is I can take a look at like your competition so you can tell that like your competition has a lot of content right on the front page and that's why uh, they're trying to get found for all these different keywords and key terms key phrases um, and so content is really important to, uh, in that regard so when I looked at your website through AREFs this is a tool that I use it's not hundred percent accurate it's not perfect uh, but it does give me a good uh, idea of what's working for you what's not working for you um, and you know 
the most accurate information that you're going to get is going to be straight from Google. So uh, if you have your analytic, your Google Analytics connected, your Google Webmaster, stuff like that, um, Google is actually going to give you the most accurate and up-to-date information. Uh, but from what I can tell, it's, it's showing that you're getting found for four organic keywords, but there's no real traffic right now. And so if I click on that, it'll tell me what that keyword is. Uh, it looks like it's create construction. It looks like there may have been some other keywords that have fallen off. Uh, but as I, as I mentioned, these are not perfect. Um, the last time it searched was August 27th, and so that could be uh, some new information as of now. But looking at your competition, you can see a very big difference. And so you can see that they have all these referring domains, they have all these backlinks that are referring uh, business to them, and they're constantly adding more stuff. So you can, just, you can tell that they just added another 100 backlinks in the last month. Uh, so with all that work that they're doing, uh, it's bringing them uh, 251 keywords that they're getting found for, which in returns brings them uh, 126 organic traffic. Now they are paying for ads, I can tell, uh, but if I go in here in the keywords, I can see you know the, the types of keywords that they're trying to be found for. So Denver Sign Company, Denver Signage, Denver Sign Companies. So these are all keywords that you're going to want to get found for as well, and the way that you're going to do it is using these tips that I've given you today. So I uh, hope you've liked this video. I've uh, put my uh, contact information and my email signature so you, f you can feel free to respond back to me if you have any questions or if you uh, would like to know more about how Mr. and Mrs. Leeds can help grow your business. Thank you and have a great day.